All right, let's take a look at uh, square-based pyramids, and we're going to find the volume of this pyramid. First things first, this whole idea of a pyramid being square-based, uh, that basically tells us that the base of the pyramid is a square. So that segment right there is also 32 inches this is 32 inches, this is 32 inches. All right. And the other two measurements you'll see here, the height is 30 inches, and this diagonal length here going down the sort of the slanted side of the pyramid, uh, that's called, I'm not going to write this down, but that's, that's called the slant height. We're not actually going to use that for volume. We're going to come back and use that for surface area. So let's write this down. We've got the volume formula for a square-based pyramid is equal to one-third times capital B times the height. Capital B is the most critical part of this formula. The capital B tells us that it's really special. It doesn't just mean the base, it means the area of the base. All right, so what we need to do is figure out how to calculate the area of the base. And to do that, you of course need to know what kind of shape the base is. Well, in this case, it's a square. The area for a square is side times side, so 32 times 32. 32 times 32 is 1,024. So that is your capital B. You need to, of course, keep going. So let's go back to our formula, 1 third times 1,024 times height. In this case, we said the height is 30. Notice we're not using this measurement right now. That is your slant height. We don't use that for volume. All right, so quickly here, we can do some of this without a calculator. One third times 1024 is probably pretty tricky to do without a calculator, but we can do one third times 30. That's just 10 times 1024. So when we multiply 10 times 1024, all we do is add another zero. So the volume of this square-based pyramid is 10,240 cubic inches. All volume is going to be measured in a cubic unit.